Hello again. Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. I'm your host, Joe. And on this episode, we are going to go with the man, the legend, Cap Ron Johnson on his boat. I told him, hey, I really do need some crab and some oil, potillo, or nabeta, whatever we can catch. Uh, just for my wife and my dog's birthday. They have the birth same birthday month. So hopefully we catch some Kona crab and whatever else bottom fishing. So wish us luck and let's go. Holo holo. So we're just trying to hit the spot. Cap got all the secret spots in his head, yeah. so <laughs> so we just throw out the lead, actually a floater, then the lead, and then we attach all the corner crab nets to this long line, and then we just let it soak, and in the meantime, we'll go bottom fishing, you know, so. And if you want to know more about corner crabbing, I think I have about two or three more videos out there, so go check those ones out. Those ones I go in-depth of how to catch corner crab and kind of how we set everything up. So see if I can find a link, but I'll figure it out. So, all right, let's go. Holo holo. All right. So, let me show you the rig I'm going to use for the nabeta while we wait for the crabs to soak. So, I have just like a damashi style. So, I have a lead, probably a heavy lead, like an eight ounce lead on the bottom, seven, eight ounce. And then maybe about two feet of main line, and I have branches that are all everything 30 pound tests with kind of a small hook because nabetas have kind of a small mouth, but. I, I had even know eels jump on this rig before. So what we do is just drop it off the side. And kind of the main thing is to find sand. So you just let it down. It can be anywhere from like 40 feet to like 100, 200 feet. So all depends on where, where they are, you know. It's got to always get lucky. So right now I just hit, hit the bottom. I know it's sand. And now what I'm going to do is just bounce it up and down, up and down. And when I get lazy, I'll, I'll just stop. <laughs> And it, you know what, sometimes that works even better. But I like to use this braided line because you can feel every little thing that nibbles, like a nabeta nibbles on it or eel rubs the line or I feel it nibbling, I can feel everything. So, so sometimes you see how I just like let it just sit on the bottom, hoping that nabeta or eel will smell the bait and come up and hit it. I either use shrimp or ika, but you can use aku belly or anything you want to try a special thanks goes out to uh cap ron johnson i mean was it for him i wouldn't even be on this boat because in fact i used to get sick just looking at a boat like for 10 years straight i went with him and every single time i went on the boat i threw up and he's like you must really love fishing because every time i threw up but oh, you know on, i guess on. you go enough easy, easy. then you kind of just get used to it and you know thanks to him it opened up this whole new method. world of fishing for me so get thanks again you know Hoggy. Double hoggy! Holy smoke, that sucks! <laughs> ah, boo! <laughs> I learned how to catch Double hoggy from hoggy. my brother. From Big Island. Hoggy brother Dre Mix. Nah, 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 just kidding. Oh, I'll give me hard rubs, that Dre. <laughs> Alright, shoots, here we go. Caps on. What he got? He'll probably show you how to do it. Because <laughs> I guess I don't know how to do it. I'm just hoggy master today. Here we go, Cap. You on, you got this. You catch your mouth, double hook them. <laughs> nice. Come on, baby. No. Big fish, no whammies. Big fish, no whammies. Come. Really? Oh my goodness. Holy. Yeah, something like this. Oh, sorry. Ah, really? Oh my god, you stupid little puffer. All right. Boom. Put it. Hey. 
Shaka measure that thing. It's like, whoa! You guys seen that? What is that? Should watch this. Oh, he threw up like a whole fish. It's freaking huge fish too. Comment below if you think you know what it is. Or right, give me a. I won't, have this ever happened to you guys? I mean, with other fish, but I've never seen anything eat this fish before. Check it out, man. It probably surprise you as much as probably us. <laughs> What is that? Wow. Dang. Yeah. Check out the next fish. The thing is split out. Wow, look at that. I just put a spit out this thing. Whatever this thing is. What is that? Oh, it's a puffer fish. Yeah. Can see the teeth. Oh, this thing ate one puffer fish. Damn. The beta kind of slowed down, so we decided, ah, let's go try drop for some oil. Never, you know? never, never. I mean, no mean oil is always never, good, never. so let's hope for the best. Oh, there you go. Fuck. Harapa. Come on, man. Yeah. See, cap. Straight down. Oh, this is decent. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 just, 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 just catch one, they're there, they're, they're all right here. They're right on the shelf. Oh, good, I, 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 like, I was like, come on, they're, they're all right here. No, no, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, target species. All right, we got enough for dinner, so remember, only take what you need, so let's go check our nets. Because I don't need that much, just, just enough for the dinner. All right, Hanapa. Remember, you only sure. open season. Easy way to remember it is any month with an R is the month you can fish for corner crab, and you only can take the males and large males like this. And you can tell by the little pointy tail that's a male with the little horns. You can't take any females. So, all right, Hanapa. <laughs> that's Yee, on fire, baby. Yeah. These crabs have really sweet meat. Um, I between, either steam them they're big. and then you can dip them in butter or sometimes I make it raw crab style poke. But either way, my wife is just going to be so happy because this is such a treat for us. Thanks again, Cap. All right. for watching another episode of on fire fishing hawaii please to help me out by hitting that like and subscribe button it really does mean a lot to me and to the channel let's help grow this channel together so all right fish safe and fish with aloha catch you guys on the next one